Hello, my crafty friend. Today we are going to talk about something that confuses a lot of people. So when we write tutorials and we write them for audiences in different markets, especially North American and not North American, one of the big things that confuses people is the conversion between imperial and metric sizing, so inches and centimeters. And what I'm going to show you here, and I of course don't have cardstock in, in both these sizes, so I'm going to show you with just plain copy paper. We have both letter size, that's 8.5 by 11, but we also have A4 cardstock. Letter size is what's sold in Canada and the United States, and A4 is what's sold everywhere else. So all other markets will have A4. And A4 cardstock. Um, is actually eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters inches or 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. So when we make card bases and we make them in one or the other, and I'm going to kind of show you how that looks, um, they don't just necessarily convert straight from one to the other. You can't just make your card and then measure it in either inches or centimeters and get the same effect as you would if you actually recalculate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a standard card base from letter sized cardstock, which for both of these, we're just going to cut it in half one direction and score it in half the other direction. So for letter, I'm going to cut this to eight and a half by 11 and a half. And then because this is copy paper, I'm going to have to be careful and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter in the middle the other way. So this is now my card base. And if I fold this, this is our standard card base in Canada and the United States. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then of course it opens up and it's five and a half by eight and a half. So that's our standard card base here. You get two from a piece of card stock. We love it, right? Now you do the same thing with cardstock that is sold in European or South Pacific and you're going to have different measurements and you're going to end up with different sized cards and different shaped cards more importantly. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to cut it um, and I'm going to cut this one at 14.8 um, centimeters. So 14.8 centimeters here and that's cutting this in half and then we're going to score it in half and we're going to score it in half at 10.5 centimeters. And that gives us a standard card base from a four card stock. So you can see, same idea, you're going to get two from a piece of card stock. But when you actually look at these together, they're totally different shapes. The A4 based card base is longer and the um, letter sized card like based off of the letter sized cardstock is wider. So what that means is now when we go to add our layers, our layers are gonna be different sizes. So if I put a layer from my regular, like I've made here in Canada, my standard card, my first layer is four by five and a quarter there. If I just take that layer and convert it and put it onto an A4 card base, it's not even. And the same thing the other way, if I take that standard first layer from um, a European or a South Pacific card, um, which is nine and a half by 13.8 um, centimeters, and I layer that onto my card base, my standard card base based off of letter size cardstock here in Canada, it's the same thing. So these measurements you actually have to convert. Now you could just have um, a card base cut from the different size card stock and you just have to do a bit more cutting. So if I wanted to take um, my standard card base and cut it out of a piece of eight and a half by 11, I can't actually cut it this way um, because the card stock is not wide enough. So I have to cut it this way and now I'm only getting one card base from that piece of card stock. So this is an alternative that you can just say, you know what, people are just gonna have to cut that sized card base, but they're not gonna be able to get two card bases from each piece of card stock. They're also not gonna have envelopes in that size. So those are just a couple things to consider. And then the same thing with your metric card from a piece of A4 card stock, this one you can actually cut 
this way because it's not quite as wide, but then what you'll find is you don't have enough cardstock down here to cut another one. See how it's not long enough to cut two card bases. Um, so this one you could cut this way, but you're still not going to get two card bases from that. So I hope that this helps. Um, so the layers that you have to actually convert um, that you can't just measure are anything that's based off of this card base. So if you have that even border all around that you want to keep, you're going to have to actually recalculate. And depending on how much of a border you want, you're going to have to take that off your measurement. Now, if you wanted to do another layer on top of this, you would do exactly that same thing. You would cut, so again, for here um, in Canada and the US, we would maybe do um, a three and a quarter layer by a five inch layer and layer that on top. So now we have another layer that's got a nice even border around again because this is based on the size of the card base which is based on the side of the size of the card stock is a good way to think about it you can't just take this layer and pop it onto your other card you actually have to then figure out what the measurements are for this card and i'm going to try to do that in my head really quickly while i um, am actually doing this so if i take another half um, a centimeter off of here we're going to be at nine centimeters here and then we're going to be at 13.3 centimeters here and then you have your layer here but again that doesn't just translate over to my North American card I would have to actually recalculate this now if you're doing something and it's based off of a die cut or a punch and you're adding a label to that or you're adding a layer to that those absolutely you can just measure them because those dies um, and those punches are all the same size you can absolutely just measure them and convert um, when you do that you do want to consider that sometimes if you just plug um, the measurement so say you had something that was like a two inch circle and you wanted to convert that into centimeters um you'll plug two inches into google and it'll tell you like 5.05 centimeters you can't do that to two decimal places it has to be just to the one decimal place because with the tools we're working with with the trimmer and those kinds of things the markings on here aren't small enough for us to measure that small so always only one decimal place with um with your metric measurements i really hope this helps i hope this is a good visual for you that you can see um, that these cards are not just um a different a different size it's different proportions um, it's, so it's not just as easy as converting the measurements from inches into centimeters you have to consider is though are those layers based on the size of my card and then what type of card stock is my card based on is it letter size or is it a4 size because that's going to change the proportions of your layers as well let me know if this helped. Let me know if you still have any questions. And as always, happy stamping. Bye.